Oh, a hydraulic disc brake on it now. 15 minutes it took him. <laughs> did you do it or did you take it to a garage? No, uh, I took it to me, mate, me mate done it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything this else is, you want to ask this him? This is Dennis? unbelievable. Anything else you want to ask him? Yeah, I was just, what, what model is it? SX200? No, it's a GP200 oh, with a TS1 okay. kit in it. Yeah. Yoki oh. Koki 2000. It looks beautiful. The engraving around the sort of key and the, the, the grips and the uh, and the uh, the horn are very, very nicely done. But I can't believe you spent how much? 800 quid just on that engraving? 700. 700, uh, 700 yeah. Yeah. Well, right. it's not just the engraving, that's the gold plate, and I say buying the bits for it. What did you say, Dennis? But what sort of money would I pay if I wanted a, a well-restored Lambretta, if I wanted to go down your route? Um, what kind of money would I have to pay for one? Now, if you, had to, what, <coughs> excuse, sorry. If you actually wanted to buy a restored Lambretta, you're probably talking around about three to £4,000. And the really, really top ones? Uh, something like this now, if I try to buy this again. Well, I've got it in short for five and a half grand, so... Mm. Hi, Keith. Hello, mate. You... Just now you were saying about um, these gas guzz guzzlers and these pollution things, but mm. in, August, in all this time, you're going to be out on that radio ranting and raving about how brilliant they are, you know, uh, polluting all of Ride Esplanade and all, all around the island. Why do these scooters, or some of them, sound as sweet as a nut, and others, they tune them so that they sound as if they're dragging a bag of spanners behind them. What, do, they ch do you tune them to sound like that? Or no, not, I don't Andy? tune them to sound like that, no. Well, of course, Andy would get someone to tune it for him. I would do, yeah. That, that is a non-standard exhaust system you've got on your bike, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's not a, that's not a standard Lambert exhaust. Can it, can it go through the MOT with that on it? Yeah, yeah. I reckon if you if you had an MOT station and all of these scooters had to go there beforehand, half of them would fail the admissions test anyway. Mm. So they shouldn't even be on the road. He's got a point, hasn't he? No. Are they two-stroke or four-stroke? Two-stroke. Oh, dear. Oh, I think, personally, you know, all two-strokes should be banned. Why? Because they burn all that oil and they puff out all that... They smell lovely, though, smell. don't they? It smells lovely in here now. There you go. That's exactly what I was saying. You were saying just now that it, the, the people in the office were complaining about the stink, but now you... And you were complaining about the stink, and now you're saying, oh, it's, it's, it's lovely. It smells as, as, as sweet as... No, I like the smell of two stroke. It's Meridian Dave was the one who was making the fuss. He's the mm. one, the, the grey haired gentleman you were talking and about. And he's not himself today. He's been to the dentist to have root canal work. 400 oh, quid. I think, he, I think he's right. You know, like. Could have got him in grey for 400 quid. Half, of the, <laughs> half these vehicles shouldn't be on the road anyway. Oh, come on. You're saying you've got to, you, you want to give these fantastic scooters who bring loads of money to the Isle of Wight and loads of joy for thousands of people when they look so fantastic, those mods dressed up in all their gear. Are you, are you saying you don't want them here? They bring them for themselves, mate. Right, we're back with uh, Andy, the uh, the fraudster, the, the fake. The guy who was sent in here by his mother-in-law. Yes. Yeah. Should we talk about your mother-in-law? Why would you... Is she the big Rolling Stones fan? No, 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 mother-in-law. You were well, you met the mother-in-law at um, the Big Wheels thing on a Sunday, was it? Oh, did I? Yeah, she's the Vecto. The Vecto? Ve no, Vecto. <laughs> um, something to do with Vectus. Vectus what? Uh... Vectus car, I don't know what she does. Southern Vectus? Vectus Vintage no, Vehicle Club? Vectus Historic Vehicle. Isn't Vectus... Has she ever restored a car? No, but I think her husband has. Ah, He's in, so he he loves at, tinkering about. There is someone at least there in the There is someone in the family who can, can do, do it, it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you can have a look over your... Uh, your <laughs> <laughs> He's done a bit of welding for me on it, so... Has he? <laughs> yeah. Have, have, you, have you ever ridden it? You haven't done much else. No, you? no, it's a van outside. I put it in the back of the yeah. van for you. Yeah. Oh, don't tell the cabbie. You do clean it, obviously. Yeah, I do clean it. Not very often. Well, See, it's in the garage. What vehicle has your mother-in-law got then? Maybe there's a bit of interest there. <laughs> well, she's, um, I think they own an MG. Don't ask me too much an about MG. it. An MG? He wouldn't yeah, know. I wouldn't right, know. Andy, we want you to ride it away now. I will have a word with John Giddings for you and see okay, if... Okay, Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I'm not being here when you ride that thing away. Let me just get this clear. Give Why? It, give it five minutes and then it, you can ride it out the end of the phone. Because I'm not being choked. Do you know what? I, do you know anything about carbon monoxide poisoning? Yeah, it won't hurt you a little bit like that. Of course it will. But even the puppy didn't wake up. Two or three minutes, they've probably punked out that puppy. He's probably drowsy. He's, no, he's, he's fine. He's gone all Knocked dopey. Him out. Like he's Jesse. Always, he's always dopey. Right, look, I want Andy to, to ride it out. So do you want, if you really are that... If I, I have got, I'm not going to be in here because, and I've got to warn Meridian Dave out there in the office and some of the news people that the things coming back through, they might choose to leave the building. 
Maybe I should go and have a word with our health and safety oh, person. Oh, yeah, you phone the HR department and have a word with them. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. I'm not. I'm being sensible. Anyway, look, we didn't, we didn't get round to getting any calls about what I wanted to talk about, and that was films and TV shows for rainy afternoons. Hi, who's this? It's Jane, Alex. Hello, Jane. How are you? What are we going to do about this, Ed? He seems a nice guy, but he's embarrassed the doc and I. <laughs> You've embarrassed me because I didn't know I was coming in for this phoning. We're going to be on look, you're, look. You're, you're on Sonant TV. Yeah, I know. It makes me even feel better. What do you want to say, Jane? Um, I would like to ask um, Isle of Wight Radio mm. why it is. Are they male chauvinists, whatever? Absolutely not. Well, then, can you tell me why it is that um, congratulations on your award? Thank you. Thank you. And that um, Justine and mm. Little Mo was not mentioned. It was more or less an all male thing. Well, no, we had women there. There was yeah, the station I manager. Did, but the county press. You read it in the county press. What does it matter, so Jane? It matters a lot. Someone has got to take the credit, and who better than him and I? I'm sorry, but I think Justine comes tops. And I believe Mo, who does a lot of charity work from her... She does a lot now, doesn't she? she? She's done I a lot a lot I'm of good around the island. They're, they're tip-top in my Her book. shows, yeah. But they should have got... But a Mo's message. never had her own show. No, 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 no. They make the show... And I expect you've got other young females up there as well. We have. So we've got also... yeah. We've got gorgeous women working here. We've got well, Sue in that. sales, that girl from the office. Mm, Claire. Claire. And it's nice Ruth. to mention, isn't it? She's still than... here. Yeah, but you got to think that... Ian Mac well, no, forget Ian. You get his big on the dock. I mean, we are the radio station, really. <laughs> In reality... We are. They should never let any presenter get bigger than the station, they say. But we are bigger than the station. We are the station. If we go, the station would go. No, don't think so. No, honestly. No, no, no it wouldn't. Every, ask right. anybody who works here. They, they, they'd tell you that we're, we're right. No, we... I just want to say they should have got a mention because they... I mean, Justine is very, very good. So is Andy Shire. First thing in the morning, you wake up to him. See, we won't do the breakfast show because it doesn't fit in with our, no. uh, our daily routine. Yeah, 